Hi, good evening, and welcome back. Why am I not getting any noise? All right. Oh, let me turn this up because I can't hear it. Still got the broken controller. Um, yeah. This might be a video of nothing but videos. Enjoy. All right, that was vicious. That hurt me. today or rather six get down I recognize that voice. Where is he? He has no shadow. <laughs> that was terrible. You 
Shoot him! What are you waiting for? Be fun to deal with. Hold on, I'm not an enemy. Calm down. My name is. My name is Pliskin. Iroquois Pliskin, Lieutenant Junior Grade. you get in? Fast rope descent from a Navy chopper. Have I seen you before? That suit. Are you Foxhound? That's right. Foxhound was disbanded. Huh? Where were you before Foxhound? Delta Force? I was part of the Army's Force 21 trials. Force 21? That's about tactical IT deployment, right? Any field experience? No, not really. So this is your first. I've had extensive training, the kind that's indistinguishable from the real thing. Like what? Sneaking mission 60, weapons 80, advanced VR, huh? But realistic in every way. A virtual grunt of the digital age, that's just great. That's far more effective than live exercises. You don't get injured in VR, do you? Every year, a few soldiers die in field exercises. There's pain sensation in VR, and even a sense of reality and urgency. The only difference is it isn't actually happening. That's the way they want you to think, to remove you from the fear that goes with battle situations. War is a video game. What better way to raise the ultimate soldier? Hmm. Oh, that's ironic. So you're saying that VR training is some kind of mind control? Right. What's going on? The Alpha team from Navy SEAL 10 is dead. No, a single survivor. The kid's wired with nanomachines. What about the president? Looks like they took him somewhere else. I see. You said there was a survivor from SEAL Team 10. Yeah. Lieutenant J.G. Pliskin. Has he seen your face? What? This is a top secret mission. No one can know that we're involved. It's a little too late for that. <laughs> Whoops. What's up? Take a look. What the hell? A Navy captain. Uh. You all right? Give me a few minutes. Must have lost a few more pints than I thought. What was that man just now? That blood-sucking freak. That was Vamp. He's Romanian, a wizard with knives, as you saw. The way he moved didn't seem human. You won't see that in VR, I guarantee. What is he? One of the members of Dead Cell. Dead Cell? Him? A special forces unit created by ex-president George Sears. The name was originally intended to reflect its anti-terrorist functions. The unit would launch unannounced assaults on government complexes for the ultimate terrorism simulation. They were needed to show VR troopers like you how to deal with the real thing. But around the time their original leader died in prison, the unit began to unravel. 
They were always close to the edge, but they became more and more extreme, began to go after U.S. allies, even civilians. We estimate that no fewer than a hundred people died as a result of accidents the dead cell arranged on their own. They were out of control, and it all came to a head six months ago. What happened? The unit was devastated. There are only three left now, and you just saw one of them. Why would they go after the big shell? How should I know? I told you they were on the lunatic fringe. What about their leader? He says he's Solid Snake. Snake died two years ago. You mean the incident that made this big shell necessary in the first place? Right, and he was the one that sank that tanker. But he's a legend. Legends are usually bad news. There's not a lot of difference between heroes and madmen. You're saying Snake is still alive and pulled another one? No, he's not involved in this one. His body was positively ID'd two years ago. Snake is dead. And buried. What about the other soldiers? I saw Russian equipment, too. Former Soviet military. They're probably mercenaries. The big shell is too much ground for just dead cell members to hold down. You weren't briefed on any of this? And you came in alone to boot? Why? What are you really doing here? Can't tell me, huh? Fine with me. I don't smoke. Keep it anyway. May come in handy. Take this, too. him? The BC connecting bridge. We need to get there. Can you handle it? I need a few more minutes. Remember my frequency. It's 141.80. 141.80. Got it. I've been briefed on this plant's layout. If you need information on the place or about Dead Cell, contact me. You're using nano communication, right? Yeah, but I can patch into your frequency. Hey, what's your name? Raiden. Raiden? Strange code name. Makes up for the boring one my parents gave me. Maybe I'll find out someday. Yeah, that was weird. Okay, so there's not a lot to do. To do. I'm gonna come down here. Grab this. Should be some SOCOM bullets. There should be a ration down here as well. Give me one second. By the way, I don't know if anyone caught it, but his name was Iroquois Pliskin. Um, that's a movie reference. Um, Snake Pliskin was Kurt Russell in Escape from the Escape from movies, Escape from New York, Escape from L.A. Well, there might have been a third one, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Alright, so. Um, this is just going to be for sh shits and giggles here. He's asleep. But go ahead and point your weapon at him. Watch this. Think you can shoot that thing? Uh, he'll keep beating you up. He'll actually kill you if you're not careful. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move on. We need to find the lockers. I believe they're in the back. Oh, no, they're there. Is that a locker? No.
Jack, it's me. Everything okay, Rose? Don't you need to save the mission data? Oh yeah. Thanks for the reminder. Yeah, might as well. Jack, do you remember what day tomorrow is? That again. I'm sorry, but I it's still Raiden, don't have a clue. not Jack. That's okay. Girl. What is it, Rose? Talk to me. I'd rather you figure it out. It's important. How important? Important enough? And we'll talk about it tomorrow. Why not now? Tomorrow seems more appropriate. I need all the help I can get so that I won't chicken out anyway. Is that the reason you decided to be part of this mission? <sighs> okay. I'm gonna finish this thing by tomorrow no matter what. You know I'll do everything I can to help you. Rose, there's something I need you to do as an analyst. What is it? It has to do with Solid Snake. The leader of this takeover incident is claiming that he's Snake himself. The legendary mercenary? Hmm. I need as much data on him as possible. Everything they have on him after the Shadow Moses incident. He's dead now, isn't he? Yes. Should be a burial record somewhere, too. You should be able to request top-level security clearance from the Colonel. That should get us into the most classified material. I'm on it. I'll contact you as soon as I find out something. And start calling him... Raiden. His name is not Jack during this mission. I almost missed this. Sorry, guys. Alright. She's really bad at... Oh, if you keep messing with him... Um... Let me try. This is gonna be stupid. So I'm shooting him with the the one weapon. What if I shoot him with the real weapon? Think you can shoot that? Damn, kid. All right, now from here, go ahead and call. What's up, Jack? Hang in there. No, that wasn't the one I wanted to call. My bad. Let's go to tune. Call Colonel. Raiden, SEAL Team 10 has engaged someone on the BC Connecting Bridge. The President is most likely there as well. The BC Connecting Bridge is on the north side of Strut B. The President is in danger. Go now. Okay, I'm trying to do this. If it doesn't work, uh, I'll do it in another video. But basically, if you assault him... I think you can shoot that down. Damn it. I hate having a broken. Right. What reason could you have to shoot someone while they are sleeping? I can't believe you. And he was on our side, right? I strongly disapprove. Hurry up and return to your duties. I'm sorry. I see you've acquired a. Okay, we're gonna skip that because, yeah, whatever. Anyway. Oh, oh, oh. He's still mad at me. My bad. Let's go the other way. Let's go the other way. Because he will kill me now. Alright. There should be some stuff in two of these lockers. Yeah, we should have rations. And SOCOM bullets. Yep. I'm going to heal up. And we're going to go this way. We got one more video and then we'll go ahead and uh, I'll end this. This is cool. So we've met Vamp, now we need to meet the second member of this group. Come. 
put me out of my misery. This is impossible. Nothing will hit her. Is she the one they call Fortune? There's Vamp again. That's a big ass gun. Look at the size of that gun. Ready grenades. A dud. Bullets go around her and the grenade just didn't blow up. Today is another bad day. Is there anyone here that can give me happiness? Doesn't look like we're going that way. So sorry, my beauties. I'll see you again someday. Colonel. SEAL Team 10's Bravo team was wiped out. I see. What happened to the cargo choppers? Both of them are at the bottom of the harbor. Looks like your new hosts have a Harrier, too. A Harrier? What is this? Calm down. It just means they anticipated the attack. What? Besides, since the SEALs drew their fire, your infiltration went off without a hitch. On top of that, we know their defensive capabilities. Are you saying this was all a feint? Ryden, get a hold of yourself. The entire mission is in your hands now. Do you understand? But... There's no time for questions. They could decide to retaliate for that failed assault. You mean the hostages? They could be in danger, yes. But we need to consider the possibility that they'll blow the whole shell. If that toxic spell does take place, it'll devastate not only the harbor, but poison the coastline for generations. <sighs> Raiden, we've had to adjust the mission objectives. The priority is now on removing those C-4s that the terrorists wired over the big shell. The president can wait, but this can't. Colonel, you know I'm no bomb disposal expert. That's not a problem. The Bravo team brought an explosives pro in with them. He was supposed to stand by on Strut C according to their mission plan. You should find him there. Is this according to simulation too? What are you talking about? Get to Strut C and find him. Understood. But I need to ask you something before I go. Make it quick. Who are they? Dead Cell, I mean. They couldn't hit her no matter how hard they tried. And that vampire, too. It's... it's like... It's like being in a nightmare you can't wake up from. Jack, snap out of it. And you, Rose. I can't believe you're on this mission. I keep thinking I'll wake up. Raiden, this is real. And that's why you won't wake up. But nothing seems real. I've made up my mind to stay with you. Whether this is real or a bad dream, I'll keep watching you till it's over. Thank you, Rose. And I won't let you be just a dream. Are you two done? Raiden, you're needed on Strut C. Oh, so much to say about that little cutscene. So much. She's still calling him Jack, have you noticed? 
just doesn't get it. And they're a little overtly sappy for a mission. And why does everything he says, everything Raiden says, Raiden, whatever you want to call him, Raiden, Raiden, why does it always sound like he's whining? Anyway, until next time, adios amigos.